What was your high school's wildest scandal? The football star at my high school was accused of sexually assaulting a four-year-old child and went to jail for it based off very little evidence. He was sentenced to 25 years. It was my junior year, and it was his senior year. He had a full-ride scholarship to play football and he, along with everyone else, really thought he'd make it to the NFL. He served three years of that sentence when the county's new DA looked over his case and saw that there was basically no evidence, so he was released. This was in summer 2017 and he was officially exonerated last year. Turns out it was his best friend, who looked just like him and lived with him, who did it. Dude is doing really well now. His girlfriend stuck with him through the whole thing and they're married now. There's actually a documentary on Showtime about it that just came out. Our science teacher was an adult star in a past life. Someone in the school found a video she was in in his dad's stash. It was a huge scandal in our conservative town. She was let go which sucked because she was really an excellent teacher. It became a national news story. She was on Dr. Phil about it. Despite numerous campaigns by the students she was never hired back. Not even a scandal, just a widely accepted rumor. English teacher was purported to select one male per senior class to try and woo and sleep with. My friend claimed his older brother was that year's selection, prodding him to strive to do the same. Unfortunately for him, another, uninterested, buddy actually was. Resulting in her petting his arm, giggling at his jokes, bending over in front of him, etc. She left to become a principal at a different district a few years later. Two students with mental disabilities went to the toilet together. Exactly what you think happened happened. The teachers forced the door open to stop them. End result of this, the parents of both students each argued that neither had the capacity to give consent. Both students were sent to court on assault charges against each other, of course it was their parents' choice to do this. Charges were dismissed in the end though. But that was one hell of a month for everyone in the know. The soccer coach was sleeping with four of the soccer players, 16 to 18 years old two of them being other teachers' daughters. They had it completely secret until his wife found a journal where wrote about each time he slept with each girl on the team. At the end of the school day we walked out and there was four to five cop cars and they were walking him out of his building in cuffs. If I remember correctly the girls didn't have to come back to school for the rest of the school year. Everyone found out their names pretty quickly. Biggest scandal at that school in decades. An English teacher would make out with a student during his planning period while his wife was teaching classes next door. After school, he would make excuses to his wife about having to stay late at school and meet the student at hotel rooms. He was led out of the school in handcuffs in front of the entire school. Funny enough, the cops gave him the opportunity to go out the back door of the school and not make a scene but he refused. A kid apparently jacked off in the back of the class. Someone apparently got it on their phone. Cops came, person who recorded it got charged. He sat where I did, but in a different class period. So I switched my chair for a new, less nutty, chair. Turns out, every other class before me had also switched the chair, so we couldn't find the nut chair. We even made black lights with our phones to look for the chair. It was great. We had a football coach ducking one of the cheerleaders. I was so blind to it all. He was my positional coaches and I had respect for him so I never believed it. He never talked about it and I was friends with that cheerleader and she always denied it. Two years after graduation they got married because she was already pregnant with their second child. She dropped out of college her first semester and became a stay-at-home mom. Her Facebook page now is just really sad. It has been almost 16 years since we graduated and she still seems miserable. All her dreams just vanished and she is still married to that coach who is getting older and fatter. He is over 60 and she is in her 30s. My first day of 9th grade a senior took a hit of acid, took his clothes off ran around naked yelling, I wanna see everyone, I wanna see everyone. He was finally chilled out and they got a robe on him. Called his folks. Maybe he was suspended same him a few weeks later. Three years after that he came to our house to install cable TV. My dad always kept some cheap beer around for service people and the like. I gave him and his co-worker and said we didn't have any LSD. He left his ass off and said, that's probably a good thing. Dot. This was a year or two after I graduated, but there was this one teacher at my high school who was fired for, in no particular order of weirdness, buying booze for students. 
Smoking weed with students. Buying weed for students. Buying weed from students. Writing a paper for a student for a different class in exchange for weed. Driving certain students who skip school to a bar in a different city several hours away. Sending a student a completely unsolicited text that said, I've never wanted to cheat with anyone in my life, but I want it with you. Offering to buy a student a $500 knife and give it to him at school, explaining it thus, if I can walk around, campus, with marijuana on me you can walk around with a shipping box with a knife in it. Kiddo, you can't walk around campus with marijuana on you. She was the scripture teacher. That position, at that school, at least when I was there, was as cursed as the defense against the dark arts job at Hogwarts. One of our history teachers had been a stripper before becoming a teacher. This was years earlier. She was a stripper before she even went to college to get her teaching degree. We found out about this because the father of one of my classmates had been a regular customer of hers and recognized her at a student-teacher conference. He told his son, who obviously told the entire school. There was this younger, smoking hot female teacher at my high school, her BF was on the real world. And she did a visit on the show wearing a super skimpy bikini and talking about her boyfriend's dong. Everyone had already had a crush on her but this pushed it over the edge. I don't know if she quit teaching but I don't remember seeing her around school after that year. My senior year we had a freshman who became obsessed with another girl in my class. He would call her all the time, not sure how he got her number, show up at her house, and follow her around school. His harassment started to become sexually graphic and increasingly violent. She told him to stop and a few guys on the baseball team he was on also told him to cool it. This only intensified, and resulted in him sending her a very graphic and threatening voicemail. The girl finally turned everything over to the police, and school. His baseball coach was disgusted and permanently kicked him off the team, and he was suspended from school for two weeks. He went home that day, called the girl again and said I hope you're happy you ruined my life and shot himself in the head. Either our vice principal was smashing a senior while sexually assaulting another teacher, and when the story got out to the students the vice principal tried to break into her room to confront her and she ended up passing out from a panic attack or two senior girls were having sex with the town sheriff and his wife and during a summer morning after leaving the sheriff's house completely wasted on booze they swerved into oncoming traffic killing a man on the way to school. Both girls have kids and are married and never showed a glimpse of regret or change of lifestyle after the crash. Principal sexually harassed a teacher. Gym teacher was fired for being too close to female students. I couldn't get any more details, but I did witness his strange behavior towards females in the class many times. One girl had a key to his office, students having sex in bathroom per second theater. Nobody ever got caught in the theater as far as I know. There was also a stabbing my freshman year. I didn't witness that itself, but I was in the hallway that it happened on and witnessed the loud and panicked crowd. We had this kid who was super pissed about his ex-girlfriend getting with a new guy, so decided he was going to kill the new guy right in front of her. Their class was all lined up outside for gym and he walks up to the guy, goes to pull the gun out of his pants, accidentally hit the trigger, and shoots himself in the nut, and through his thigh. He ran just far enough to collapse on my English teacher's doorstep. He survived. One day while changing, one of the students thought it would be funny to shit in his own hand carry it into the gym, and throw it at his friend who had already changed and was waiting for class to start. The teacher was too shocked to do anything at first but it splattered off the other kid's shirt and then that kid started projectile vomiting. It started a chain reaction, and multiple students started dry heaving and then puking onto the gym floor, running out. The gym was closed down for like two weeks and had to be repainted, the hardwood floors refinished. The kid who carried out the shit fest received no punishment from the school and the teacher moved to a different school the next year. In the auditorium there was this obvious hole in the wall and when I say hole I mean like a 10 feet by 10 feet square but it was way up by the roof and back behind the stage curtains. One day my friend said she saw the janitor climbing down from it on a ladder and she saw where he put the ladder. After school we went back there and sure enough she went straight to the ladder. We climbed up to the hole and there was a pretty big ledge in the hole with a twin sized mattress covered in stains and a rack of old playboys and shit. I was very concerned about the janitor after this. The girlfriend of my best friend was molested one day. It didn't take long for it to get around school, 
when the police got to investigating the whole situation and after about a week the molester disappeared from school for multiple months. He came back as a registered sex offender. The, the molester was someone in our class and when my best friend found out he took matters into his own. Molester ended up with a broken nose. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.